Okay, so I got this really crazy idea. Investment advisors ought to have to give advice that is in the best interests of their customers instead of the best interests of making money for themselves. Yeah, I know. Sounds crazy, but bear with me for a minute. Thank you. A couple of years ago, folks from the Obama administration and the Department of Labor came to my office to talk about a new conflict of interest or fiduciary rule. The retirement investment industry was skimming about $17 billion off the backs of people who were trying to save for retirement. Because pushing annuities may not just be getting money. Last year, Elizabeth Warren released a report on sales perks in the annuity industry, ranging from free cruises to luxury watches to, and this is true, this tacky Super Bowl-style ring. And we had this idea to force investment advisors to stop doing that. And we rolled out a new rule that will protect people who were getting cheated. This is a win for America's working families, and I'm just proud to be the financial institutions and their armies of lobbyists and lawyers, man, they came out swinging. After all, they wanted to keep skimming $17 billion a year. And their buddies in Congress introduced bills to stop the rule. They ran TV ads. It's these new regulations they're pushing in Washington that worry me. They want to make it really hard to get advice from our financial advisor. No more help from Ann? Oh, we'll never get the information we need. We're going to call our senators. You really can't make this stuff up. And then President Trump got elected. And the financial services industry knew they had a second chance to kill this new rule. And sure enough, President Trump delayed the rule by 60 days, enough time to hatch a plan to stop it entirely. But we didn't back down. And you didn't back down. 178,000 of you took on this sort of wonky fight and weighed in with an official comment to the Department of Labor opposing this delay. And with that much opposition, Trump's Labor Department gave up, at least for now. So starting today, this day, right now, investment advisors can't sell retirement accounts that make the most money for themselves they have to give advice that is in the best interests of their clients, period. And that means billions of dollars every year stay in the pockets of working people. That's big. Shoot, that's huge. Okay, the Trump administration may come back again and try to take down the rule. So we have to stay alert. But you know, it's time for a little celebration. Come on. How about 17 hip hip hoorays or 17 bites of cake or 17 seconds of delicious dancing or just one good solid reminder that when we fight back, we can win and it makes a real difference.